think you'll be finished on time? They'll be calling for Eddie soon. Why don't you just take the robot? Uh, Herman, please. I didn't interfere when you were being put together. <laughs> Ready? Ready. Ready. Can't open her. Can't open her. Can't open her. <laughs> Flyers. 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 <laughs> What's the matter with him? You know how squeamish Herman is. He always faints at the sight of oil. <laughs> exhibit on our science fair tonight will be a robot built by young Eddie Munster. Oh, Grandpa, they're introducing the robot right now. What'll we do? Please, please. I mean, these things take time. After all, I'm only flesh and blood. <laughs> Somebody will just have to go out there and stall them until we're ready, like they do in those old Don Amici movies on TV. <laughs> but who? Is it over yet? idea what's holding things up, but I'm sure you'll be right out. The robot, please. Stall them? Yes. How? Just talk to them. Talk to them? Oh, I couldn't. That, I'd be scared to death. I'd, I'd get stage fright. What could I say? Why don't you tell them some of those jokes you've been reading in that book? That ought to keep them amused. Now, Herman, this could be a big break. Go out there and give them everything you've got. Look, just think, Herman, this could mean Hollywood, the palace. <laughs> Come on, dear. All right. I'll go out there. But I'm not doing this for fame or fortune, or to be the life of the party. <laughs> I'm doing this for Eddie. I've been asked to come out here and, uh, entertain you. <laughs> Amazing. It looks almost alive. Yes. Why can't our Sidney build something like that? He's 16 years old. He can barely wave bye-bye. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is my first public appearance, so you'll have to bear with me if I don't function too well. <laughs> As a matter of fact, this situation reminds me of a story. Uh, one time Abraham Lincoln was asked if he found appearing at public ceremonies annoying. He said, yes. In fact, I feel like the man who was ridden out of town on a rail, who said, if it wasn't for the honor of the thing, I'd rather walk. <laughs> I think I found the trouble. Someone has thrown a wrench in the works. Let's do a thing like that. Haggard. And they even have an invention for keeping the inside of the car quiet. It fits right over her mouth. <laughs> Eddie, you're not going to turn on wrestling again tonight. I don't think I could watch that masked marvel one more time. He's nothing but a bully and a coward, and he loses all the time. I know, but the papers are the amateur night. I just want to watch this one match. Who knows? The big dog might win this time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a non-professional from the audience, Mr. John Smith versus the masked marvel for $50. Boy, this is gonna be good tonight. I hope Grandpa gets back in time to see it. 
the masked marble and the challenger from Wait a minute, Eddie. Isn't that Grandpa there? It is. I didn't know Grandpa was this interested in wrestling. It looks like a battle of titans here tonight, folks. This is really a match, folks. Wow. Smith is murdering him. Look at that big oak. He's not even fighting back. <laughs> Don't let him do that. Stay with us, Strangler. Strangler? <laughs> What kind of a sob story did this guy tell you? You're letting him kill you. Who's letting him? I can hardly see him. Oh, oh, I'm so sleepy, I can barely stand up. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, that's, uh, that's smart. Marion, doesn't that sound like Herman? Yes, it does, Aunt Lily. Look, it's only had that chance. Hey! Daddy, heavens to Betsy. This, this must be the night work he's been doing. Come on, Bob. Clobber him. Come on, Uncle Arthur. Come on. Don't do that to you. Don't let him hit it. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, Murphy. Give it to him, Strangler. The bills are working. We got it made. Murphy? Strangler? Giving that Strangler Murphy who was suspended in Chicago for bringing tire chains into the ring? No, just spilled out the... That's John Smith, that's who it is. <laughs> oh, you brought a ringer in, huh? That Strangler Murphy, he's no amateur. It's a frame-up. <laughs> What's Grandpa going to do? I don't know, but he better do it quick. Hold me up. Play games? I'll show you how to play games. Abracadabra, acy-dosy, alakazam, and Bela Lugosi. <laughs> We gotta stop the fight. <laughs> are you kidding? No, no, no. There's a fire broke out in the storage room out back. Ellen and the boys are trying to put it out. Look, this is the best attraction we ever had. Tell him to close the fire door. That ought to hold it back till the fight's over. But do! Go oh, do it, will you? Bombs away, Herman! Really? Yeah. Yeah, you gotta make an announcement to, to clear the arena. I'll, I'll, I'll try. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, you have to leave. Uh, 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 you see... Enough for you, Mr. Ramsey. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Ramsey. Mr. Ramsey. Mr. Ramsey. <laughs> 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 